Hello, I'm Allison De La Rosa, host of Long Island Today. Later in the program, I'll be bringing on Iggy Rolatello, who I recently granted boyfriend status to. And Iggy, I'm hoping that status won't be temporary. So, today, don't go anywhere, stay on the island, Long Island Today. My first guest is the guy who dubs American voices for foreign films. You know when you don't want to read those annoying subtitles? So you get that funny voice that has a weird dialect and rhythm? They definitely talk funny. Welcome to Jacques Dulachez. Thank you, Allison. I am very glad to be on Long Island today. It is certainly an opportunity that does not come along every day and or week. Wow, you do talk funny. Uh, so where might we have heard your voice work, Jacques? Yes, Allison. You have probably turned on Netflix and or Amazon Prime and decided to watch a foreign film. <laughs> you know, the ones that come from France, Germany, Italy, Spain, and or Yugoslavia. Yes, so anyway, if there is a main character between the ages of 25 to 55, well, ha, I normally do the voice for that character. You can even tell my voice if you're out of the television room. You remark to yourself, hey, this sounds like a foreign film, <laughs> because no American sounds like this. That's why I get the work. I make the foreign film sound strange, but unique, kind of like you're on a holiday. <laughs> I also interject laughter at inappropriate and or nonsensical places. And I also do the Italian films like, ah, Odysseus. I'm sure your journey's been along an arduous one. Come, courtesans, bring him some wine, food, and drink. I don't always use set, uh, commas in my sentences, but it's truly an international experience. <laughs> well, it's certainly an experience. I'll say that. Well, Jacques, we on the show thought it might be fun to give you some sentences to see if you can dub them Long Island style. So, first one. Yo, Mookie, I stopped by Nikki's place for some hot coffee while I was walking the dog. Allison, I'm really stoked. I think I can hit it out of the window and or park. Ha, let me give it the old college and or university try. Yo, Mookie, I stopped by Jean-Luc. I, I mean, Nick's flat. Ha, I mean the place his pad or for some hot coffee au lait. Ha, I mean coffee. While I was walking the un chien and or dog. The un chien or dog needs to find a tree, quick. Un chien or dog, that's, that's a bunch of baloney, Jacques. You have to extend the short O sound, dog. Coffee. Now say dog. Dog. Talk. <coughs> Try it again. Un chien and or dog. Oh my God, not even close. Allison, your dialect is too strange and or weird for me to assimilate. Ha 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 ha. But you have beautiful manicured nails, my dear. Perhaps you would like to go to Venice, Italy in a gondola boat with a balladeer serenading us. <laughs> you would have to pay your own way, of course. Or pay for the whole thing outright, depending on my finances. Oh my God, that's it. Get, get off my show, you Euro trash clan. You, you, you Bobby Boombats. I will leave, Allison. But can I use the term Bobby Boombats? Uh, I want to do a picture that's set in Jersey. Ha. Uh -huh. And the regional phrase would give it some street cred and or moxie. Ab absolutely not. Your souffle is cooked, Meepo. Shove off. Now that the dubbing clown has left the building, let me bring on my boyfriend and owner of Iggy's Auto Body and Repair, Iggy Rolatello. How you doing, Allison? Hey, everybody in TV land. You mentioned the auto body and a repair shop, which is great. But I gotta tell you about my new dubbing career. I do the American voice for foreign films. Check it out. Un chin, un dog. <laughs> Oh my God, Unchin and our dog. Yeah, it's funny. All right, now to important matters. Iggy, did you get the tickets to the Megan Thee Stallion concert with special guest Justin Timberlake? Maybe. Iggy, that's a pretty weak maybe. I don't understand, because you said you got the tickets last week. I said I had the tickets, but I did not say I had those tickets specifically. Oh my God, what tickets did you get, Iggy? Um. Uh... Masters of Heavy Metal Mayhem, the farewell tour. Oh my God, what Iggy? Masters of Heavy Metal Mayhem, the farewell tour. The farewell tour, the farewell tour. What are they, statesmen, I ambassadors? Did they issue some important decree or establish an essential truth? Uh, not that I know of, but they rock and they sound so good. They rock and they sound so good. Wow, Iggy, that is as eloquent as a Shakespearean sonnet. <laughs> hey, what's so funny? I knew you were going to buy the heavy metal mayhem tickets. That's why I bought two tickets to the Megan Thee Stallion show. So we can go together to both concerts. 
ladies, a little advice. Always make them think they've got the upper hand, that they pulled one over on you. When in reality, you ladies are in the driver's seat navigating the vehicle. And that's what I like to call relationship jujitsu. Iggy, tell the viewers what belt I have in relationship jujitsu. Yeah, you're pretty good. Oh my god, Iggy! I would describe you as black belt. You have a black belt in a relationship jujitsu. Thank you, Mr. Rolatello. I'm Allison De La Rosa, your host of Long Island Today. I just want to take a minute to plug my new book called You Ain't Getting No Free Condo, Nikki. Life advice to my idiot brother and other morons. Well, that's the show. And remember, if you're going to cop an attitude, do it with a smile. And don't forget to walk your unchina dog daily. <laughs>